Hi everyone, I'm Reza and this is the second tutorial video of Prism Spasticity. In this video, I will show you how you can install Prism Spasticity on Ubuntu Linux system. To start with, let's Google Prism's GitHub. So, the first result, if you click on it, it will show you the Prism's GitHub repository, which include all the software. The one that we are looking for is Plasticity. So if you find the folder docs, it, in, it has the documentations in it. And the documentation that we are looking right now is Ubuntu installation Prism Plasticity PDF. So if you open it, it will explain step by step how you can install Prism Plasticity in Ubuntu. In my case, I don't have native Linux system or Ubuntu system. So what I have is a Windows subsystem that I got it from Windows Store. So now I will open an Ubuntu terminal to start the installation procedure. First, you want to make sure that your packages are all up to date. So if you can see, there are three commands you need to type in. So the first one is sudo apt update. So then it will ask the password. So the second command that you need to type in is sudo apt upgrade and the last one is sudo apt get update. After we make sure that all packages are up to date, we want to install dil2 find almond package. To install dil2 find almond package, there's some required software you need to install before installation of dil2. So if you can see in the installation file, there is a block of commands that you need to copy and paste in the terminal starting with sudo apt git install. So if you copy all those block and paste it in your terminal, it will automatically install those uh, required software. So after I installed all the required software, I will install DIL2 package itself. For the Ubuntu system, I'll use Candy package to install DIL2. To get the Candy package, I just git clone it from the GitHub, which is git clone https github.com deal to candy git so you'll get the candy so you'll cd to candy go to that folder so now there is a very tricky part if you want to install deal 2 for prisms plasticity you need to compile it without trillions so if you have already compiled deal 2 for other prism software other software in general and you compiled them with trillions you need to clear everything and start from the scratch so in this case there is a file candy config that you need to open it so i use vim candy config if you go to line 60 so i just go to line 60 there is a part that you can actually comment out the installation for trillions so i will comment this out and then save this now we have everything prepared so what you need to do is you can just type candy sh we have done this before that was actually a block of command we copy and paste so now we are just ready and hit enter to continue so it will automatically download the required packages unpack them compile them and then on top of that it will compile deal 2 so it will take a moment to do that now deal 2 is compiled with all the required packages such as pet cp forest hdf5 the two more things that you need to take care of is these two commands source deal2 version 920 so just copy and paste it here let me copy it okay and the next one is 
source enable sh. So you need to save these two lines somewhere. So each time, if you don't put them as a module, the deal to and enable sh, you need to put these two commands before you start using deal to or prism spasticity package. But if you put them as a module, so each time your computer is starting, it will automatically run these commands, you're fine. So now we're good. We have the deal to package compiled. So in the next step, we want to get clone the prism spasticity. For that, you need to say git clone prism center plasticity.git. And now you will get the plasticity package. So after you git clone the plasticity package, you can cd to plasticity. This will be including all the files and folders in the plasticity repository. So you need to type cmake dot and this will detecting the compilers and configurations. And finally, you need to type make. So this will take some time for compiling the Prism Spasticity main modules. So after getting this done, in the next step, we should go to the folder applications and in that, we should go to crystal plasticity and then we'll type cmake dot. This is specifically for crystal plasticity find element part of prisms plasticity software. So after getting this done, the final step is make release. We're doing it in the release mode. If you want to do it in the debug mode, you should do make debug and this will generate our executive main. Okay, if you see here, now there is an executive main. We just go to the FCC folder and we go to the compression and we do main. Here we go. You're all set. Thank you very much for watching this. In the next video, we'll go over all the input files you require for the Prism Spasticity CPFE simulation.